Hello, everyone. I think Bobby or John will be joining in a minute and they can uh, get the meeting kicked off. Hi, David. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. While we're waiting for Bobby and John, are there any questions or any topics people want to cover today? Okay, well, if not, we can just wait for another minute or two and then we'll, we'll get started. Hey, John, how are you? John, you're muted if you're trying to speak. John? Hey, Bobby, how are you? I'm good, David. How are you? Good. I'm going to share my screen in a second. Great. Hold on. Let me, I think I'll start with documentation. Um, okay. So welcome everybody. Um, it's uh, two minutes after 12. This is the uh, dual meeting of the documentation task force slash mentorship and onboarding task force slash mentorship um, meetings that we have every Monday at 12. Uh, one of the things that we're gonna talk about today is possibly changing the meeting time lower depending on when everyone introduces themselves uh, where they are from, we might make it a little earlier in the day for an evening um, for everyone, but we're going to talk about that later. On your screen, I'm Bobby Mascara, and I am on the TOC and the chair of, or not the chair, the head of the documentation task force. Um, and I'm going to have David introduce himself because my dogs are going to go bananas in about two seconds. Um, <laughs> But the antitrust policy is on the screen. Um, if you want to read that over, uh, this is a meeting sponsored by Hyperledger, and that is how we have our code of conduct. Um, so take a second to read that over. So far, so good. They don't see the Amazon truck. Okay, um, so I'm going to show you how to edit a wiki page for the people who are here uh, for the mentorship or new. Um, we'd like you to try to do this. You need a Linux Foundation ID. If you don't have one, um, you can uh, go onto the wiki page and uh, type in how to get one. It's just supplying your email and verifying it. Um, and then you can log in like I just did. And when you do that, you will get well, am I going? Um, an edit menu. And then once you select edit, you'll see that I'm logged in because my picture's here. And now I have edit rights to this page. This is a community page. Everybody has edit rights to it. And we encourage you to put your name on, fill out and join the conversation. Um, this is a great way to uh, share work with your uh, teammates and for the people again, who are new from the mentorship program, one of the things that the mentorship program is going to uh, teach you is a lot of the current uh, software enterprise uses like Zoom and like wiki pages. And there's a ton more that you'll learn. Um, what's going on with that word? Oh, comma, okay. 
Um, so this is again a wiki page. It works just like a uh, word processor. Um, the antitrust policy is there. I'm going to put my name down in my email. Um, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, and I'm just to let everybody know that I'm here. So um, people like David and Ben who are on the call who kind of work in the community don't really need to do this. But again, anyone else new who uh, wants to be a part of the community, I encourage you to do this. And then you would just hit update. And my computer is very slow. And then you'll see my name's here and I have that edit menu because I'm logged in because my picture is here. So again, after you introduce yourself, please uh, take a chance and try to do this. And then we can refresh the page and see that your name is up there uh, to get you started in the community. So I'm going to go back to the Zoom participants and I'm going to let everyone introduce themselves. I think we'll go alphabetical. Um, actually, though, I'm going to let David um, introduce himself quickly as well, and then we'll all call your name alphabetical, um, and you can introduce yourself and tell us, you know, why you're interested in the documentation task force and how you want to contribute to the community. So great. go ahead, David. Thanks, Bobby, and it's great to see so many people here. I'm looking forward to, you know, collaborating with all of y'all. Uh, um, so I'm the Senior Director of Community Architecture at Hyperledger, and my role is basically just to understand what people in the community are wanting to do and figure out how I can support uh, you with that. So uh, I'm looking forward to hearing what everybody is here uh, and interested. And you know, if, if, if I can help with anything, certainly let me know. You can find me on Discord or here. I'm going to put my email address here too. And I imagine with the mentorship uh, project proposal deadline coming up. A lot of people are interested in that. But beyond that, there's certainly a lot of other opportunities beyond the mentorship project to, to get involved in the community. So if I can help with any of that, certainly just let me know. Thank you, David. Um, and now, Akansha, uh, would you like oh, to introduce yourself um, and tell us you know, why you're in the community and what your interests are? Uh, yes, sure. yeah. So I had attended the last meet by you and I got to know how the program works and all the tasks and the duties or if we uh, come in in the document documentation or onboarding project. So I was very interested because uh, like uh, according to my skill sets also and also it will help me to grow and learn from you if I am able to contribute to this community. And yeah, I love to be a part of this community. Great, thank you. And um, we'll go next down the line to Arunima. And if correct my pronunciation, please. No, no, it's absolutely correct. Hello, everyone. My name is Arunima Chaudhary. And uh, I got to know about Hyperledger through the LFX Mentorship Program. Previously, I have been an intern at Solana Labs where I worked on a, a blockchain-based project. And after that, I also started documenting my journey and writing technical blogs. And that's how I got into uh, technical writing and things like that. And I think this project matches uh, both my interest with uh, both blockchain as well as technical writing. And that's why I chose this project and thought of applying for this program and get to know more about the community. Thank you. That's great and welcome. And again, um, the mentorship picks one paid person, but we encourage everyone to continue on with the calls and the, the work um, because although the mentorship runs for the next few months, the work never stops. Um, so next is us, Aswin. Hello everyone, uh, myself Ashwin, I'm from India. I'm pursuing engineering from VIT. Uh, I am really drawn towards this uh, documentation project because uh, especially the topic as a blockchain is new for me. I never worked in it, but uh, I am a person who learned, loves to learn new things. 
and uh, blockchain it's really intriguing and i find it an, as an amazing topic to learn i have in as a part of my previous works i have been an intern at open genesis where i have written several technical doc, uh, articles and i'm currently working on a book also uh, on uh, data structures and secrets plus and that's all my work and i'm very happy to be in this uh, community and hope to work with you all so thank you great thank you so much uh, moving down the the line i'm going to go for uh belvier hello everyone uh, my name is balvir singh rao i'm from india i'm currently sophomore uh, at iit bhu and pursuing my degree in electrical engineering basically last year i started web development to uh, the reason i started web development was to uh, contribute in blockchain and know more about the blockchain and recently i have started writing some articles on hash note and github uh, the Yeah, and yesterday i saw this uh, project on uh, lfx mentorship page uh, it perfectly fit my uh, uh, tech stacks and uh, my interest that's why i am applying to it looking forward to contribute to it again welcome um next we're going to go to ben thomas hi boy hey, thanks i'm ben I thomas I lead marketing communications for Hyperledger Foundation, and I work closely with David Boswell and the ecosystem team to help spread the word of Hyperledger and enterprise blockchain blockchain adoption. I'm also <clears throat> currently working on a brand refresh for Hyperledger and a new website. So previously, I've talked about this, and uh, I'm looking forward to having the input from the group. Thank you. Oh, and I also wanted to mention something about um, what's on the agenda today. Um, I'm hoping I haven't checked the list. Let me check real quick. Uh, no. Not yet, but um, uh, Jim Sullivan might join us and give a de demonstration on one of the newest, hopefully newest lab projects. He's putting in a proposal today. So it's, um, I know I uh, enjoy watching a project go from labs all the way through the process to a graduated project. And uh, again, today's the first day for this one. So if you guys wanna follow that journey, um, you can follow the project and he'll give a presentation. If he's not here this week, we'll um, get to him next week. So I'm going to go to uh, Devesh next. Uh, hey, Bobby. Hey, everyone. Uh, I am Devesh, and I am pursuing computer science from India. I have been joining the Hyperledger Meet for the past one month, and I am particularly interested in the blockchain technology. And I am looking forward to contribute to any uh, way I can to the community, uh, and put uh, good use to my skills. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. And again, we've really appreciated all your help. Um, and we'll talk again. Uh, well, we get to the task first work. Um, and Elena? Yeah, hello everyone. Uh, so my name is Elena Trishala. I'm with Exact Pro and uh, I'm leading the documentation practice there. Um, I'm really excited to see what this group uh, is about and uh, what you guys are uh, all up to. I'm ready to help with uh, whichever task you may have for me. And uh, mostly for now, I'm watching and learning. And so I'm open to help as well. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Lena. And next, I'd like to consider my partner in crime, John Carpenter. Hey, Bobby. Uh, great to catch up with everyone. And I'm really excited about the attendance. I think that uh, the onboarding and documentation task force has really grown over the past few months here. And I welcome everyone for getting on and being a part of this. Uh, I'm John Carpenter and I'm focused mainly on the onboarding side of the task force. We have a great mentorship. And as Min has pointed out, I think we're extending that through today. So if you haven't applied through the Linux Foundation for that mentorship, please do so. And we'd love to be able to work with you on this great uh, update to the onboarding. 
One of the things I will cover, but I want to let Bobby continue on with the intros, is adding you to the task force for onboarding if you're interested. And right now we've got five people that are on that list. But if you'd like to join that after we you know, wrap up and move on to the next phase, I can add your name and email address to that. And then also any type of comments around what you're interested in focusing on. So great to catch up with everyone. Thanks, John. Um, and now Maurice. Thank you, Bobby. Uh, my name is Maurice Magorane. I am in Rwanda. So I'm really interested in um, blockchain and I want to help people who doesn't speak English in this technology. And I'm really happy to join the dynamics of uh, Hyperregel. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. And again, everything we do, we'd love it to have um, more exposure to uh, different cultures and different languages. Um, so seriously, we'd love your help with that. Um, and Pranit? Hello, everyone. Uh, myself is Pranit Patil. I am from India and currently working as a full stack internet hubs, hubx.ai where I work in full stack developers and my motive for this project is uh, documents uh, documentation is very needful for the developers that needs to be improved that's why thank you thank you um and Rohit oh I think I missed sneak you get back hello everyone hello mentors I'm Rohit Patil a uh, computer science undergrad from India. My interest develops from the fact that I have been working on uh, Hyperledger Fabric projects where I've helped more than 300 or 400 uh, students in my university. And uh, I've been an intern as a cloud consultant where I feel uh, <clears throat> uh, there's a need to contribute in the documentation as well as I love writing blogs on Medium. And uh, I'm looking forward to contribute to the Hyperledger documentation standards for this mentorship program. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's great and welcome. I'd love to read some of your Medium articles. Um, so thank you. Um, Niku, did you go um, like going down the list so fast? I don't know if I skipped you. Yeah, so I'll introduce myself. Yeah. Yeah, Thanks, OK, Bobby, and, sorry. Uh, yeah, OK. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. And uh, hello, everyone, oh. and welcome to the community. And I'm Niku Singh. I previously served as a LFX mentee for the Hyperledger Foundation. And this year, I'm currently the mentor for this project, Onboarding Mentor Mentee Program. And uh, my interest was just wanted to explore the uh, uh, blockchain space. So I kind of like uh, hopped into this space and kind of like uh, attended a lots of meets. From there, I have networked with the people like Arun and other Hyperledger in the chapter leads. So, so far, is the journey. Yeah. Um, and Nico, I'm not sure if you went to the Linux Foundation and logged in as the other um, mentor for the project. Um, it's uh, kind of simple to just go through it. Um, so again, welcome aboard. Okay, yeah. I've done that actually. Uh, my profile is over there, visible. And, uh, um, no, but did you, did, you, to be done? did you attach yourself to this mentor, pro this specific project? Uh, yes, I have done that. Okay, okay, good. I'll I'll check in after the meeting. Thank you. Um, and Rohit. Yeah, I'll just edit my name down on the, the table. Ah, okay, and welcome. Um, do you want to say anything about like where you're from, or you good? Yeah, I just gave my introduction. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, okay, now, uh, Sarahava. Yeah, so hello, everyone. I am Saurav. I'm a third year CS student, and I'm interested in contributing towards Hyperledger community and learning along the way. I'm also into technical writing, and you can check out my blogs on Hashnode. Thank you so much. Um, and there's two Yashas on the call. Um, so I'm not sure if you're the same person or two different. So we'll go for Yash Kateria first. Uh, hello, ma'am. Uh, my name is Yash. I'm currently, I'm a pre-final year undergraduate student from India. 
and this is my first meet here and i'm really excited to join the community and make some amazing connections so what motivated me to join the documentation task force was that i attended a blockchain hackathon a few months ago so uh, currently i'm also serving as the head of content documentation at a club in my college so uh, we were trying to upload nfts using the ipfs blockchain so what really intrigued me was that we were trying to use pinata it is a decentralized storage for web3 space but due to the scars and irregular documentation we were not able to upload the nfts so the need of proper documentation in the web3 space is a must and we all know that how much we are we are all lacking here uh, also um, i'm here because i'm passionate about learning new things and i'm excited to soak up as much knowledge as i can from the amazing mentors here and i'm also looking forward to collaborating with all of you thank you so much no well, thank you and that was very flattering um and yash pimpel yeah hello bob and hello guys myself yash pimple i am currently in my second year pursuing my bachelor's degree from india and currently focus on learning devops and exploring the cloud native ecosystem i am an open source enthusiast and looking forward opportunity and was drawn back towards hyperfx mentorship and came towards this issue i would like to contribute towards the documentation uh, since i am a technical writer at devops community and would love to enhance the user uh, documentation part of this of hyperledger and also i love to write blogs especially in, in the field of devops and cloud on hashnode yeah that's from my side okay thank you um if i left anyone out or anyone has anything else to add please raise your hand right now okay well we're going to get moving so again first is the documentation task force which i'm going to cover and then uh we will have uh john cover the onboarding task force so they kind of are this uh we work kind of really close together because documentation task force is going to be supplying the information for the onboarding task force when they finish um with their chore of making it easy no matter how you come to the community to get where you need to go and John will go into that later um so welcome everyone so far on the documentation task force so the documentation task force has been running for about 3 months um, it is something that I report to the TOC um, about once a month on it, and it is uh, coming to an end. What we're doing is basically just making recommendations for the community. Um, so we're going to be working on that um, in the next few, I think um, my next presentation is in two weeks. So I'm hoping to have either a date to wrap up the task force. Um, because once the mentorship starts, the mentor is going, the mentee is going to be working on um, the information that the task force feels uh, the community needs. Um, so, in so far as the documentation task force, and again, the mentorship program is going to be taking over for this information. Um, these are basically the buckets in which there are needs for documentation. Um, the first one is the GitHub repository, um, and then there's community templates, which um, Ben and um, Akashan are working on closely, um, and anyone can jump in. If We can have separate calls. You can meet, continue on this call after it's uh, completed. If you want separate meeting times on the calendar, we can just reach out to David, and he can get you that um, for meetings. Um, but for right now, um, we also have user docs so that when um, onboarding um, people hit a button, they they need to know where to go and they need to get the information uh, depending on who they are, because again, there's different people coming into the community uh, with different skill levels um, and needs. So depending on who they are, what's that documentation look like? That's basically one of the other jobs the task force has to determine before it's done is what is that user documentation look like? Um, and again, these are basically the people who that documentation will be needed. And again, like you see, the uh, a SIG chair or a project maintainer does not need to know the same information as a solutions provider. Um, 
you know, that, that person's trying to sell the product, not uh, develop code. So their skill levels are completely different, but they, they're coming into the community at those um, onboarding points. And then uh, work with the other task force. So again, this is already we're married to the onboarding task force, but there's another task force that we have to work closely with. And the TOC had a meeting on it. Um, if you want to listen to that recording, it's on their wiki page. I can show you where that, our wiki page, I can show you where that is. Um, <clears throat> so what that is, is the best practices. So what documentation does a project need? Um, let me see if I can get to that quick. Not sure. Maybe that's it. I'll be shocked if this is the first time I hit this. Yep. Okay, so this is a project life cycle at what's at, at these different stages. So right before this is a lab, so that if uh, that's the Jim Sullivan um, presentation and uh, workshop that he's ready to put on and become a lab. Um, so that's not even in this cycle yet. So once he becomes a lab um, and he gets a community starting, he makes a proposal to become a project. Um, and what documentation does that lab need to get out. And that's what the best practices um, will let us know. And we have to supply, you know, guidelines and templates for that documentation. Same thing once it, once a project goes from lab, uh, proposes it gets accepted, it's an incubated project. That's again, where there's resources attached to it and community gets developed and it, it, it's a really lively time in, a, in, in the project's life. Um, and then when it, it completes all of the best practices for that, it would then go to a graduated project. So all of those things um, need documentation. Um, so that would be uh, working with the onboarding and the um, best practices uh, task forces to get that information going. Um, and then uh, we did a little bit of, this is from the onboarding. Um, so these are places people come into the community and these are the personas. Um, I'm not going to go too much into each one, but again, I'll just touch briefly on uh, what these mean, and then I'll turn it over to John. So working on the GitHub repository, um, we as a community use um, training materials that are developed right from the GitHub repository. So we use a, a make the docs or read the docs or uh, documentation software packages available. Um, to take your GitHub repository and make it into a yeah, user manual. You saw that when I was kind of here, that's taken from a GitHub repository using just the docs. So each one of the things in the community, or each one of the projects in the community right now, all are using different techniques to do that. So as the task force, uh, we need to, and again, this is whether you're applying for the mentorship or not, this is something you can volunteer and help me with. Just edit this wiki page. Let me reload it real quick. Edit this wiki page and put your name um, underneath mine in this bucket, and then we'll have a meeting um, together and figure out how to get this into a presentation. Again, I don't have to give the presentation to the TOC. Um, I would love a member of the task force who is anyone on this call, by the way, um, to maybe step up and do that. Um, something we can meet and talk about in the next couple of weeks. Uh, so again, this is what uh, the GitHub, we have a paid tooling available, which there's links farther down on this wiki page. Um, at the TOC meeting, they were talking about a best practices GitHub contribution guide that needs to be uh, developed. Uh, my question is who needs it and where does it reside? Where does it fall into um, those documentation needs for the um, community? And again, that would be something that's reflected in the onboarding task force as well, because whoever wants to contribute to GitHub needs to you know, come to the community somehow. Is it gonna be through GitHub? Is it gonna be through Discord? How are they gonna get their information? Um, so again, that's something we need to work on. Um, what else is there? Again, Tracy set us up with a, is this it? Right, let me go right to the link I know works. The tooling policy is here. Here's some best practices guidelines. Here it is. 
So this is the GitHub repository that we want to make available and train the community on. Um, and the mentee who comes to the documentation task force has a role in this, which I'll get into in a second. But what does this look like? And what are our suggestions for? So right now, these are our suggestions. Um, we need people to go through this and see if it actually is, is, is a viable template um, and make suggestions to how it could be better, what's missing. Um, so this is something that we're working on and Tracy basically set this up. So um, take your time and go through this. Um, it's again, linked right to the wiki page. And then as the mentee, one of the main things is uh, the other mentorship projects. Now I'm going to get down here, here, um, all have a piece of document. The ones listed here all have a documentation piece needed. So what we want, again, um, the mentee to be able to do, um, it's a leadership role, not just a working role. And as a leadership role, you're going to be responsible for informing, giving a presentation to, and again, that would be set up by men for you to tell all the other mentees um, what's available in this GitHub repository for them and how they use it. So one of the first things in the mentorship program my mentees or our mentee is going to do is make this information available to these projects that again, will be running simultaneously with yours. So this would be a hands-on kind of thing with the other mentees and other projects. So not only will you get to learn uh, what's going on with this, but you're going to be probably um, involved in these projects as well, not to you know put any kind of uh, tasks on you, but just to make available the documentation templates and suggestions that the community has for them. Um, Matt, I think, and these are just other sample things. We're using the uh, paid tooling policy, which is make the docs. That's why that was in the GitHub repository. Um, so does anybody have any questions on that first bucket and what would be needed on the GitHub repository? Okay, I want to see at least five people who put their name here, put their names in some of these buckets before next week and possibly in this column or create a, another table column, put your suggestions or if you want to do the presentation or if you have any thoughts, comments, just add them to this box in here. Um, and I'll reload the page in just a moment. And we're going to move on to the templates. So again, the templates would be if I am a SIG chair or I'm a maintainer and I'm going out to give a, a presentation on digital identity the Hyperledger way. So I need to have uh, what the PowerPoints look like, what the logos look like, um, and that's all changing. So we need to make sure that once those changes go through, um, and again, um, ben is in charge of what that new branding is going to look like, and he's going to supply us that information. We need to make sure that those people coming in here who need it can get at it really relatively simple. Um, so that's basically what that information is. And then again, we also would like to, uh, to create a library at the end because people are creating great documentation, but it's sometimes hard to find even on the project pages. So we want to kind of come up with a way to make that documentation um, really accessible to people. Uh, does anybody have any question on the template? Again, put your name if you want to work on that. We'd love to have more people on that one. Um, I see people are doing it. Thank you so much. Um, and user docs. Um, this again works closely with the onboarding. If I am a new coder, where am I going to find out how to contribute to GitHub? What's a good first issue I can pick up? Um, and how, you know, just like I told everybody how to, at the beginning of this call, edit the wiki page, how do you work with our community with pull requests, that kind of information. 
Um, so that's, again, some of the user docs we will need, but that will be more fed uh, from John and his group will tell us what we need and we can either develop it or use something that's available for the community. Um, but we want a, again, repository of this information for people to be able to reuse. Um, and then again, liaisons, I'd love a leader, uh, someone to step up to be the specific liaison with the two other uh, groups that we're involved in. So that is it for me. Uh, does anybody have any questions for me? No, well, if you've completed your mentorship application, I will be reaching out to you with a uh, interview session and a Zoom call. I interview every mentee application. So um, it'll probably be uh, next Monday, probably earlier in the day uh, than this meeting. Um, so I will look forward to seeing who's finished. Let me reload this page. Oh, I had a question. I had a question. Certainly. Yeah. So regarding the application, today is the last day to fill it, right? Like I am in the half day to fill it. So that's why I wanted to come. I'm sorry, your question was is today the last day for the applications? Yeah, I am asking that today is the last day for application of mentorship projects, right? Yes, today's the last day. So you can go over to again, go to the Hyperledger Wiki. In the search engine, type in mentorship program, and you'll get all the information for this year's applicants. Uh, what is the timeline according to like, I'm not sure of the timeline up to which we can. I'll show you on the screen in just a second. Uh, so right now, um, this is the timeline. So we are on May 15th. That's the Menti application period. So as of the end of today, um, I guess end of today, Eastern or uh, no, probably Pacific time, which is 12 midnight, um, you can get your application in um, and click here for the instructions. Um, let me copy that link and I will put it in the chat. There you go. That's everything you need. Anybody else have any more questions? No? Uh, okay. Oh. I do have a question. Yes. Yeah, I do have a question. Like, as you said, that there will be a, a, an interview for Telefx 20, whoever has submitted. So can you please give me an idea when will we have the interviews? Um, I'll try to set them up from a week from today um, before this call. So instead of, uh, I'll take probably between 10 and 12 Eastern Daylight Time next Monday and send out 15 minute Zoom link inv invites to all the people whose applications are complete. Okay, sure. Thank you so much. No worries. Okay, uh, John, I'm going to show the onboarding task force and turn it over to you. And if you want me to stop sharing, let me know. Yeah, Bobby, as always, such a wonderful job of running through everything this morning, and I really appreciate it. That was really informative. And I think at this point, Bobby, I might just take the screen over and just share a couple of things that I want to go through here on the onboarding side. So I'm going to pull up and share this tab. Okay, everyone can see that. No, it went back to the uh, member list. Okay, let's, let me try it again, Bobby. I'm gonna try one more time here and just see. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna go here. Did it go and share that through or not, Bobby? 
It just says John Carpenter has started screen sharing and it stops right there. Hmm, that's so weird. Yeah, because I'm just sharing a tab and it should share the tab just correctly. I made you co-host. There was I had to make you co-host. Okay, yeah, no problem, Bobby. Does it is it coming through for everyone now? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, so uh just to follow on to what the great content that uh, Bobby provided here. So on the onboarding side, we're gonna be collaborating with Bobby and the team doing the documentation to really make this easily discoverable by anyone coming into the Hyperledger community as a new member. And what we have here and that I'm showing you right now is the starthere.hyperledger.org component of the website. And that was something that was worked on in the last year's mentorship to really build out a great you know, framework for getting people to be onboarded into the community. And so what we're gonna be focused on this year with the new uh, mentorship is really refining the UI UX presentation here, making sure that the content is readily discoverable by someone coming to the website and, you know, making it only a few clicks from the top so that when it's indexed by Google, that we're gonna have a very good SEO framework so that you know all this content will be well indexed on the search engines as well. And one of the things we're also gonna be focused on with respect to this, and you know, this is gonna be a lot of in collaboration with Ben because you know, he's handling all the Hyperledger redesign and marketing. So whatever we're doing here has to be approved by his design framework and in accordance with his uh, ideas around SEO. But what we wanna look at is also taking personas into account. And I thought Bobby did a great job of describing some of those personas to begin with, but that's also gonna be a core component of this mentorship where people are going to say, okay, is this a person going to be a maintainer? Is this person a developer? Is this person a business person that's gonna be interested in you know, marketing, let's say Hyperledger Fabric for their company and other companies to use it under their consulting services and, you know, really defining those personas first and then based on the persona, being able to navigate them quickly to the most relevant content on the Hyperledger site. So there's also gonna be a, you know, thorough review of all the great resources that are throughout the Hyperledger website and the wiki to really you know, bring those to the forefront. And you, know, you can see here, there's been a lot of work around you know, surfacing the projects. And I'll just pull that up here. See, it's got a great framework here for how each project has their own dive into. We can do that here. We're, Bobby was talking about labs and uh, how you can go in and propose a new lab. We wanna make sure that that's easy for people to get to. And just like she talked about Jim Sullivan having a new project coming into labs and may go beyond that. That's a great way to onboard people is to say, put something into the labs. And then, you know, you have issues, pull requests, uh, releases, all of these things are highly relevant to anyone getting involved in the community because they may be interested in, you know, what are the latest pull requests? And, you know, there's good drop downs here for each one of the pull requests, but we may want to look at, you know, how can we best make those discoverable both to the search engines and to the users. And, uh, you know, we're going to be looking a lot at UI UX to make that happen. Also, it's always good. You know, we always talk about the antitrust policy when we get on these calls. That's well discoverable here for anyone coming on. They understand that. And then of course, we always have a code of conduct. And it's important for anyone who wants to be a part of the community and initially join the community to understand the code of conduct because that's you know, core to how Hyperledger operates. And then of course, you know, getting to know the people in the community is paramount as well. And you can go here and look at the great uh, Hyperledger contributors community and then, you know, based on what project or what framework that you're looking at, you can say, okay, well, great. I want to interact with this person who's running, let's say, Hyperledger Aries. 
and is a maintainer or a contributor there. And then also, you know, we want to make sure that in addition to the GitHub repositories that, you know, you can easily onboard with and connect with the Discord channel. And that's one thing that I think would be nice to incorporate into some of this onboarding is to say, you know, an easy way to communicate with a lot of people quickly <clears throat> is to join Discord, get in the channel that you think is most relevant to what your question's about, post the question there, and there's a lot of active users on Discord for Hyperledger, and they'll get back to you quickly and get you the right answer and get you moving in the right direction. So, you know, I think we talked about just the docs and the great work that Tracy has done and putting together a framework around documentation. And so, you know, those are things that under the mentorship, you want to be able to be familiar with that and be able to work and, and build upon that framework. So anyone have any specific questions about kind of this start here URL framework that I put out there? Otherwise, I'm going to move on to the next step here. Okay, it doesn't sound like any questions coming through, so let's go pop over here. I'm going to share this tab instead. Everyone can see this new tab coming through. Yes. Okay, perfect. So here's what I'd like to do, and I think, you know, you feel free to go ahead and edit this yourself, but if there's a few people that would like to go ahead and give me their contact information, that are interested in the onboarding side of the task force, then I can go ahead and add your name here and a couple of comments about the framework that you're interested in so that we can continue to grow this list and we know who's involved. So if there's anyone on this uh, call that wants to be added, maybe just uh, come off mute and let me know your name and email address and what you're interested in here as far as onboarding. And this is more focused on the onboarding side of Hyperledger versus the documentation side. So do we have anybody who came on here that's interested in the onboarding side? And I know we added a few people. Oh, here we go. So Balvir, that is a perfect way to do that. So I'm gonna only ask you just a couple of questions here and then uh, I'm gonna put you right on the list here. So my question Balvir is, what is the type of thing that you're most interested in on the onboarding side? So like if you're interested in UI UX, that's one thing. If you're looking at front-end development, that's another thing. So uh -huh. go ahead. I'm interested in front-end developing. Front-end development, perfect. Yeah. How about content as well? Interested in content? Yes, I can surely do that. Okay, great. And as Bobby said too, is we want everyone on this call to be involved and be a part of the community. And even in the instance for those people who are on this call that may not get onto one of the mentorships uh, directly, we still wanna make sure that you continue to be involved and we would love to have you, you know, participate as well. So, you know, our, our philosophy here is we wanna have as much opening for people to get involved with Hyperledger as possible. And we're gonna make that happen. So I really appreciate everyone coming through. Looks like the next one is Pranit. Uh, Pranit, you wanna come off and uh, talk a little bit about your interest? Yes. Uh, uh, I'm interested in the front end part and the your design part, mainly UI UX. Okay, perfect. Let me just make sure I just add this real quick here. And posting things in the chat really makes it go fast. So I appreciate everyone doing that. Uh, front end and content development, is that fine for your overview? Pranit, does that work for you? Uh, content and UI design part also. Okay, and you're also interested in UI UX? Yes. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's add a couple more here. Next one I want to focus on is going to be Arunima. 
Yeah, hi. Hi, Runa. How are you doing today? Hey, hi. Hi, so I'm uh, interested in the front end part and content development. Perfect. And if there is any other area that is uh, that requires uh, some, then I would love to know that. Yeah, no, no problem. I think that, you know, there's going to be some UI UX design. The other thing that really we're going to have to look at as part of that content development is the persona development. And that's one thing I really want to get refined so that, you know, when we get somebody coming into what we're doing from the UI UX perspective, that we can make sure that we know the persona that we're dealing with and then be able to route them accordingly to make them you know, have fast access to all the content. Okay. Okay. So, maybe, sure. so maybe if I just put, uh, let me just go ahead and just put persona development here. And, you know, anyone, anyone can feel free to jump in and whatever they want. I'm just kind of trying to give you some frameworks that would work to help us to move forward with this project here. Yeah, I would also like to do front end content development along with persona development. Yeah, that's wonderful. And we can always update this and add to it. I think right now I'm just trying to get a lot of the stuff down and know who we're having participating so that we can then say, oh, we got a great group because I was quite impressed with how many people showed up to the task force meeting today. And I'm really excited to see more people get involved in the process. So let me get one more thing here because I got to fix Arunima's email address. And then I'll move on here. Okay, Saruba, if you want to come off and kind of go through what you're interested in, that'd be great. Did I pronounce that correctly, Saruba? Okay, I'm going to move on to the next one. And then if Sarava wants to come off and talk about it, but I'm gonna leave it open right now. Yeah, hello. So myself Akansha and yeah, uh, mainly I'm a second developer. So I don't trust in that, but uh, can you just tell me more about the solar development that we comes in the Okay. Akansha, I'm going to uh, put your stuff here and then I'll add the framework and if you want to change anything let's change it now and i do encourage you to feel free to go in there and edit this directly as long as you have a linux foundation id you can definitely go in and make any changes that you want okay let's see here i'm going into uh this to you Okay, does that work for you, Concha? Uh, okay, so uh, actually I'm not very good in UI, so that's what I asked, what if that becomes in the persona level? Would I like? Okay, so we're gonna change that out and put persona, is that what you want? Yeah. Perfect, no problem. I, I think everyone should just focus on what they feel comfortable with and Anything that you're focused on is additive and we appreciate it. Okay, the next one I'm gonna to go to is gonna be Yash. So, hey, I'm interested in front end part, the content development part. Front end and content development, right. So is there any, uh, is there any coding resources development part uh, regarding doc in a documentation? Is there any coding development as far as what that other people um, have signed up for that? Um, can I jump in here uh, for the document yep. for the documentation? If you go to um, and I'll put a link in um, to where I was on that wiki page. All mm -hmm. of the new uh, mentorship projects that come in that are a lot of them are based in coding. 
um, the documentation mentor and task force will be helping them. So you'll be very familiar, but there's really no specific uh, coding you'll be doing. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we thought, uh, I think next week, Jim Sullivan will be coming and talking about a lab project. And the lab project again is just starting up this week, hopefully. And that would require coding and that's uh, has to do with the EVM and fabric. So that should be fascinating. Um, so although you'll be helping document coding efforts, there's no coding in the documentation task force. Sure, no issue. Got it. Okay, anything else you wanna add there, Josh? Appreciate you jumping in. Also like to add the personal development. Okay, perfect. That'd be awesome. Yeah, we, we would like to really get some good deep dives on the persona development. And the better we can do our job there, the quicker and easier we can route people to the right content. Sure. Okay, I'm gonna move on to Aish. You wanna go next? Can you please add the uh, front end content and personal development beside my name? Okay, you, you would like front end and content development beside your name? Yeah. Okay, perfect. It's happening right now. Thanks for jumping in and letting me know that. I really appreciate it. You can also put in the personal development part. Perfect. I'll put that. Mm -hmm. And thanks for helping out on that. That's great. Okay. Ayesh, do you want to come off mute and just talk about what you're interested in? And sound like Ayush is around to uh, jump in here. So I'm gonna move on here. So Maurice had a question about participate in two or more tasks. Yes, as long as you have the bandwidth to do it, uh, we're all about that. And I think anyone who's interested in any of these topics, you know, whether that's user flow, UI, UX, front end development, content development, and persona development, definitely get involved. But I would say, you know, it might be better to meter the number of things you're involved with so you can just have a core focus on maybe, you know, two things that you say, I'm really going to focus on these and get done. Okay, since we're not here in Ayush, I'm going to move on to the next one here. And I'm going to say, Yash, you're up to go next. Hello, sir. This is Yash Kateria. Yep. Uh, so I'd like to contribute in the content development and the persona development part as I have previous experience in technical writing and uh, I'm good with this stuff. Nice. And I'd say, yeah, any experience you have with technical writing would be definitely super helpful. Is that around uh, technical writing for the computer science community or what type of technical writing have you been involved with? Uh, so basically, I wrote several articles and blogs in the Web3 space, uh, and I also wrote the pitch and documentation uh, that we used in hackathons. We also won the full prize of sponsor at Eth India, which is the Asia's biggest Ethereum hackathon. And yep. I'm also nice. And I'm, and I'm also currently serving as a head of content documentation at a society in my college, uh, where I regularly publish articles for the college management. Perfect. Okay, well, yeah, it's great to have you as part of the group. And uh, we look forward to your contributions on the technical documentation side for sure. Thank you, sir. Okay, and then Rob, uh, sorry to interrupt, sir. Uh, you added sure. the front end part. Uh, I only said the content development and documentation. Okay, so scrub that front end and just go to content development and technical documentation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, perfect. No problem. Let's make sure everyone feels comfortable yeah. with what we're kind of you know signing you up for to move forward and help us out with. Yeah, thank you, sir. Okay. Perfect. Uh, 
So we took care of this other thing. Please add content persona development. Perfect. Now we got Aish has a microphone issue. So we got Mike. Okay, we got this front end content development and user flow. Perfect. I'm going to change that here. Okay, so it looks like we've run through the whole list here and we're coming up at the top of the hour and I don't want to hold anyone up here anymore. If you do have a desire to go in and add your name to the list, we'd love to have you and we'd love to have you participate. Please add your name to the page that I've been editing here. And uh, Bobby, if you have any closing comments, feel free to jump in and uh, share those. Otherwise, I think we're going to wrap the call at this point, and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next call. Nope, that's it. Thank you, John. Okay, everyone. Have a wonderful day, and we'll catch up soon. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.